Hi, Internet and Anna. I'm Bree, but you probably already knew that because you probably found this video because I'm going to post a link to it on my Twitter account. Otherwise, I don't know how you found this video, but I am sincerely sorry for what you're about to see. I mean, not that it's going to be like really family unfriendly or anything like that, but it's been a long time since I've made a video blog and I'm kind of out of practice and it's kind of really awkward but I'm sure I'll get back into the swing of things and my follow-up videos will be significantly less awkward. Basically, Anna and I have been friends for about two years. Uh, we met on Twitter. It's kind of a funny and amusing story, but I'm not going to tell it to you. Maybe later. We'll see. But Anna sent me a text about a month or so ago and said, hey, what would you think about doing like a Vlogbrothers type scenario where we make videos back and forth talking to each other because we've never actually met in person but one of these days maybe and so we decided to try this out for a little while and kinda of see what happens uh, we're only gonna make videos probably we're gonna try to do at least twice a week but the next couple of weeks are gonna be kinda of crazy because we're both doing finals and we both work part-time but summer's coming up and we'll be able to make a lot more videos then hopefully um, my train of thought just derailed. But for my first video, I'm supposed to be talking about zombies. Because I love zombies. Or more accurately, I like talking about how to kill zombies. And I was going to show off my super sweet uh, survival guide for the zombie apocalypse. But apparently it's not in my dorm room, which is kind of bad. Because, you know, if the zombie apocalypse strikes without warning, I'm going to be kind of screwed for the next couple of weeks. So... Hopefully we can hold off on that for a little while. Um, Anna mentioned an article, it was a cracked article, if she's talking about the same one that I'm thinking about, which I actually might have sent you. But I'm going to post a link to that article in the place where you post links. And it's actually a really good article. Um, they give some like scientific and medically type reasons. Medically, that's a word I learned in college. And it's, yeah, it's a really good article. So, you know, check that out if you're interested in zombie apocalypses and whether or not they would actually happen. But I regret to say that I've never really thought about where on campus I would go if a zombie apocalypse did transpire. Um, our college is about 250-ish years old. It's a very old college. So most of the buildings are about that old, which is good because it means most of them are brick and so they'd probably be pretty sturdy. But it's bad because a lot of the electricity and pipes and such aren't super duper reliable. But I can think of a couple of places where I'd probably go. Some of the older buildings would actually probably be more sturdy and more reliable if the zombie apocalypse were to transpire. But I'm only going to be here for another semester, so as long as the apocalypse holds off for another nine months or so, then I should be golden. But the problem is that then I'll be hopefully in Los Angeles which is probably one of the worst places to be if the zombie apocalypse strikes because, you know, really crowded, lots of traffic, lots of people everywhere. I could see Los Angeles falling pretty quickly if the zombie apocalypse happens. Just realized that Anna also listed her uh, geek qualifications, so to speak, at the beginning or middle of her video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Um, I read lots of DC comic books, some Marvel comics. I have action figures all over my desk that I would show you if it wouldn't make you kind of motion sick for me to turn the laptop around. Um, I have a X-Files poster directly above my head, which I posted a picture of on Twitter. It's pretty awesome. I'm really excited about that poster. It's actually, I'm going to geek out a little bit here, it's a fan club replica of the poster that was on Mulder's wall in his office on X-Files. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Doctor Who, same as Anna, Harry Potter. Though, I don't know, I found myself less invested in Harry Potter lately. At least, I mean, I still love the books, obviously. But the movies just aren't really doing it for me anymore. I don't know, maybe I just need to go through and, like, rewatch all of them sometime this summer. Maybe I'll make that, like, my own project to take a day or so and watch all of those movies. But, ah, uh, Harry Potter, Doctor Who... Uh, Supernatural, the first three seasons, like Anna said. There are some episodes from the fourth and fifth seasons, and there's one episode from the beginning of the sixth season that I really liked. 
but after like the first four or five episodes of the sixth season, I actually stopped watching. And I have no idea what's going on on that show anymore. Anna, can we please do a video where we talk about how horrible Supernatural's gotten and how all of the writers have completely lost their minds? I know we've talked about this at length via text message and internet, so I think we should do this in the near future because, you know, I'm always up for making some Supernatural fans really annoyed at me. I apologize, viewers. It was probably a little startling for me to suddenly get up in your face like I was going to come out of the screen at you. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up because I don't want mine to be super freaking long or much longer than Anna's was. Um, Anna will probably be posting a video sometime in the next few days. And hopefully I'll actually be able to upload this from my school's really, really crappy internet connection. So I will see you, Anna. Actually, I'll probably talk to you on via text message in a few minutes. And the rest of you crazy Twitter YouTube stalkers, I will see you guys soon.